Here we go. Two bits of casting news for the next Man of Steel movie, a.k.a. the Justice League movie, a.k.a. the Zack Snyder Fest with, with a lot of weird casting. One of them, I'm gonna breeze right through because it's the easy one. One of them is for Alfred. Jeremy Irons is cast as Alfred, which is cool. I mean, Jeremy Irons is a good actor. I think he'll do a fine job as Alfred. At first, though, I was like, are we doing the Forever Evil arc? Jeremy Irons has always been kind of villainous to me. He's the voice of Scar. And then I remember, well, the voice of Mufasa is also the voice of Darth Vader. So it doesn't matter. Point is, Jeremy Irons, good actor if he's not in Dungeons and Dragons. And now he is Alfred. Fine. The second bit of news is who's going to be Lex Luthor. You've heard it by now. Jesse Eisenberg is going to be Lex Luthor. All right. It's one of these moments, guys. The casting for this movie has been weird to say the least. Ben Affleck is Batman. Everyone's like, what? And I was like... I don't see it, but I'm rooting for the guy. Maybe they see something I don't see. Then Gal Gadot, who I called Gal Gadot, but it's Gal Gadot. Again, I was like, she's too skinny, but she can bulk up. I, th my problem isn't her as Wonder Woman. My problem is the fact that Wonder Woman is even in the movie. But I was like, hey, maybe the powers that be see something I don't see or whatever, we'll see. Now, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. It's like, th there's always a moment in something like this where you have to draw a line in the sand and go, you know what? I need to make a stand. By disclaimer, I will say, I'm not a casting director. Maybe they see something I don't see. I get it. That being said, from where I'm standing, not only do I not see it, I advocate that it's just not, it's not good. Again, nothing against Jesse Eisenberg. He was nominated for an Oscar. Good actor. But not remotely Lex Luthor, at least not the Lex Luthor I was hoping to see in this movie. I know the argument is he's the same age as Henry Cavill. First of all on that, I always thought Lex Luthor was older than Superman. So still, if he's the same age, he's still too young. Second of all, it's not about how old the actor is. It's how old the actor can seem, appear, and act in terms of what the role requires that he's playing. Andrew Garfield was 28. He was playing a teenager for The Amazing Spider-Man. Why? Because he doesn't look 28. He doesn't act 28. Rachel McAdams in Mean Girls, well into her 20s, playing a high school student. Why? Because she could pull that youth off. Jesse Eisenberg is 30 and he seems like he's 22, which would be fine if they want to do a Lex Luthor beginnings kind of thing. Like Lex Luthor is this really smart kid. Maybe his dad Lionel's still alive, calling him a dick, being like, make something of yourself. Then Jesse Eisenberg, Lex Luthor at the end gets the drop on him and he takes over the company and now it sets up for sequels. That's just not, I don't think that's where they're going with this though. Cause if they are, I feel like that'd be a waste of time. We already saw that in Smallville. Which holy shit brings me up to another point. Why not get Michael Rosenbaum to be Lex Luthor? I know he already did in a TV show and they they want to do something new with a new actor because in movies they just don't do that. It's like if you play a role in a TV show and they make a movie adaptation some years later that's completely detached, you don't get to play that same role in the movie usually. That being said, I still think Michael Rosenbaum is the best Lex Luthor ever put on any screen ever. The dude was awesome. I just like his kind of Lex Luthor. He's smart. He's methodical. He plays Bach on the piano while sipping his scotch. Cool, right? No, Jesse Eisenberg. I feel like the kind of villain he would play would be like, it's like McLovin and Kick-Ass and Kick Cast too. I think Jesse Eisenberg would be a good Riddler. Yeah, sure, young Riddler. Edward Nigma just starting out. He's kind of nerdy, has a sweater vest. But he's smart, so he makes traps and messes with Batman. Sure, awesome. But the Lex Luthor, the guy who owns the city? No, not that. You remember my Zombieland review, what did I call Jesse Eisenberg? A 20-something-year-old socially neurotic awkward guy who kind of reminds me of Michael Sarah and Andy Samberg's love child. And I still hold to that. When you see him, you're like, that's exactly what I see. That person I don't think would be a 30-year-old Lex Luthor. 18 to 22 year old Lex Luthor still finding his way, has a grudge against his dad who's still alive, sure. But an established Lex Luthor who's like, nope, that alien doesn't have a place on this earth. I don't see it. But we had rumors of actors who would be much better Lex Luthers, like Brian Cranston as Lex Luthor was one of the rumors at one point. Awesome, I'm hoping for something like that. Which is funny, I feel like Zack Snyder talked to his casting director and he was like, all right, we need someone to be Lex Luthor, who should it be? Casting director was just like, well, sir, the fans are really hoping for Heisenberg and quite frankly, I think he'd be perfect. Then Snyder was like, Oh, you're right. That's so perfect. Jesse Heisenberg. I'm getting him on the phone right now. Yeah, sir, that's not really what I meant. It's already that's... ringing. It's already ringing. We're going to make this work. Oh, uh, it's just not what I meant. It's going to be awesome. Hey, Jesse Heisenberg. What's up? And now here we are in this situation. There was a fan trailer where someone cut together a fake Superman trailer with Brian Cranston as Lex Luthor. It's one of those things where you watch it and you're like, that is awesome. I want that. Yeah, it's going to be great. And now it's Jesse Eisenberg and it's just not. 
not at all gonna be like that. I know I want to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. I really do. But I feel like all the casting in this movie is Zack Snyder or somebody trying to go for long shots, you know? It's like, oh yeah, just like Ledger's Joker and no one had faith in that and then he killed it. We're gonna do that with every main character in this movie. Which you can usually do that with one. If you have everyone else that people have faith in, that one oddball where you're like, is that gonna work? And then the movie does and that person does kill it and you're like, ah, oh, cool, it worked. But everybody, that's just risky. Jesse Eisenberg has to know that this is gonna, he's gonna get backlash. It'd be like if I was cast to be Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars Episode 7, I don't know if he were coming back or some shit, I'd be like, I'm not the best choice for that, but uh, I'm gonna get backlash. I'll do what I can, but I, I know I'm not the best one for it. So I like to think that he knows that. So in the end, the casting of this movie, I don't get any of it, except for Jeremy Irons as Lex Luthor. I love that dude, he's beast. All the casting has been so strange to say the least that maybe there is a pattern to it. They're obviously going off the so the entire movie will be so obscure that it all fits together in an obscure world and does work in its obscure way Or it's all just going to be terrible, which is pretty much what I just said Ultimately the thing that will save this movie for me is a trailer. I need to see a trailer. I need guys Warner Brothers People, if you're watching this, in the trailer, do not hide Lex Luthor. Show us, because that's the thing. If we have faith in that, then we'll be like, ah, oh, sure, Affleck can pull off Batman, no problem. Just advice from a fan. So I just see Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. What do you think about that? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.